Welcome to Finance and Economics at UTC's Gary W. Rollins College of Business. What is economics? Economics is the study of scarcity, of how people use limited resources and respond to incentives in making important decisions and choices. What is finance? Finance is the art and science of managing financial resources. It involves the study of money management and the process of acquiring needed funds. Finance and economics help us understand historical trends, interpret today's headlines, make predictions, study human behavior, and explain social phenomena. The finance and economics programs at UTC develop in students the ability to think critically and analytically about the world around us. Hi, I'm Dr. Stephanie Yates, and I am a finance professor, and I'm also the chair of our Department of Accounting and Finance at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. I'm also the director of our Regions Institute for Financial Education. I am a certified financial planner and an accredited financial counselor. So as you can see, I really like finance. And I got involved in finance because, you know, who doesn't want to know a little bit more about money? I find it interesting to learn about money, the history of money, and the impact it has on our lives. And so that's the personal part of personal finance. So personal finance is all about how you manage your money. And that has such a huge impact on all of us that I thought that would be a great career. And so with personal finance and managing money, that's about earning money, spending money, saving and investing your money, protecting your money so you don't lose it, and then planning for retirement or passing that money on to the next generation. So that's what personal finance is all about. And then the question is, well, why do you want to study it? Why do you specifically want to study it? And what value is there in you learning more about personal finance? Well, let's think about where you may be in your own financial journey, because we think about all of us on a financial journey. You know, you start off and somebody else is making the money decisions for you. You don't really worry about where, where money is coming from, how the bills are getting paid, because that's somebody else's problem. But as you get older, you're going to take on more and more of that responsibility. And so especially when you go off to college, things get a little bit different. You may be offered the opportunity to take out a credit card, or you may find that you want to consider a student loan. And so those are new financial challenges that you might not have seen before. So learning a little bit more about personal finance and how all of this works will help you make good decisions. Why do I want to make good decisions? What difference does it make if I get a credit card or if I don't get a credit card or how I manage it? Well, managing money is stressful. And actually, not managing money very well is very stressful. In fact, the American Psychological Association says that over 60% of individuals in the U.S. cite that their financial matters are causing them stress. So just think, if we knew a little bit more about personal finance, making good financial decisions, and managing our money properly, we might be able to avoid a lot of stress and a lot of headaches. And so what kinds of things might you want to think about when it comes to personal finance? How can this personal finance education help you? Well, it can help you save for the future. You know, we always talk about saving for a rainy day, having an emergency fund. When we're younger, we're not really thinking about that rainy day. We're not really thinking so much about the future. And studying personal finance will help you to think more about your future and how the decisions that you make today will help you to have a more secure and financially stable future. And so saving for 
a rainy day is just one example. Also, knowing more about personal finance and making good personal financial decisions leads to you being a more responsible individual. And you know, one way that we think about financial responsibility and one way that other people may consider your level of responsibility is how you manage credit. That's another big issue when it comes to personal finance. So I talked about the possibility of taking out a credit card. Well, you've got to be able to manage that credit responsibly. And so what will happen is how you manage that credit card or any other debt that you take on will be reflected in your credit score. And so credit scores are a great way to prove that you are financially responsible. And now sometimes people think that credit scores aren't a big deal and managing your credit isn't very important, but you'd be surprised the number of ways or times that your credit score might be used so that people can get a sense of your character and your level of responsibility. So again, knowing more about personal finance, including credit, will help you make better decisions and prove that you're responsible. Also, when we think about personal finance as the way that you manage your money, if you understand money a little bit better and all the things that you can do with it and the responsibility that comes along with it, if you have a better understanding of how it all works, then you can have a better relationship with money. Remember how I talked about the 60 plus percent of people who find that money stresses them out? We don't wanna be one of those people. And so if you know a little bit more about money, then you can have a positive relationship with money and it won't stress you out. And you can be excited about managing your money, making it grow and having that strong financial future. And then finally, this whole notion of financial stability really is the goal when it comes to personal finance and having healthy financial habits. We want to be comfortable in good standing financially and able to look at our financial future and be excited and not worried. So all of those are great reasons to know more about personal finance. Have you heard of these famous women in finance and economics? Janet Yellen, first female treasury secretary and former first female chair of the Federal Reserve. Christine Lagarde, president of the European Central Bank. Cecilia Rouse, chair of the Council of Economic Advisors under President Biden. Gita Gopinath, chief economist of the International Monetary Fund. Eleanor Ostrom, in 2009, was the first female Nobel laureate in economics. Esther Duflo, 2019 Nobel laureate in economics. Carmen Reinhart, chief economist of the World Bank Group. Kamala Harris, our first female vice president, has a degree in economics.